Dutch Cargill with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Circus. As our story opens, we find Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot returning home from their last adventure. There's a little town just ahead. I think that's Cedarville, Clutch. You're right, Spinner. It's the only little town that's never gone modern. It hasn't changed in a hundred years. Look, at the edge of town is a circus. A real life circus with tents and everything. Why, I haven't seen a circus in years. Wish we had time. I'd like to see this one. <laughs> Paddlefoot would too. I'd say the vote is two to one in your favor, fellas. Let's look for a place to land. Clutch, look down there. What's that? Well, that's a distress flag. That means someone's in trouble. We'll have to land now and see if we can help. I'll come around. Looks like a place to land at the edge of the circus. Everybody out. Well, look who's coming to meet us. Why, it's Mademoiselle Fifi. Clutch Cargo and Little Spinner. Oh, I am so glad to see you. And you have brought cute little paddles, feet too. Hi, Miss Fifi. We spotted your distress flag, Miss Fifi. What's the trouble? Come, get into my car, and I will tell you on the way over to the circus. Huh? So, with the money I inherited from Uncle Henri, I invested it in this little circus, but so far, nothing but bad luck. Like one time, the most ferocious lion we have broke loose. We almost didn't catch him. But my animal trainer, he finally surrounded him. Golly! When the world got around the town, people stayed away in droves. Hmm, sounds to me like someone is deliberately trying to wreck your circus. Deserted? That is what I explain. The people stay away in droves. Miss Fifi, who are those people standing over there? Oh, those two. Well, the little one is Tom Tainy, the world's tiniest magician, and his friend, Slim Paul. He is one of the tallest men in the world. Come along and I will introduce you. Spinner and Clutch, this is Tom Tiny. Pleased to meet you, little boy. And this is Slim Paul. Likewise. Golly! Could you teach me some magic tricks, Mr. Tiny? I'd be glad to, little boy. You gonna be with us long? Only until Clutch finds out what's causing all these strange accidents. Oh? Well, that may be quite a while yet. Mmm. Well, if anyone can find out who is trying to ruin me, Clutch Cargo can. Well, I guess we better get going. We're breaking in some new tricks. So long. See you around, Spinner Boy. Gee, what swell guys. <laughs> Let us go over to the main tent. Look out! That ladder! Wow, that ladder. Will Clutch and company avoid being crushed? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Crutch Cargo. Crutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Circus. You remember last time Clutch and company, while returning home, were attracted by a circus on the outskirts of Cedarville. Someone was waving a trouble flag. Upon landing, they found it to be Mademoiselle Fifi, an old friend. Someone was trying to steal her circus. As they walked through the circus grounds... Look out! <laughs> Thank goodness for that wagon, or you might all be goners. See what I mean, Clutch and Spinel? Strange things happening. Oh, my, is anybody hurt? No, but we sure could have been. Oh, that's strange, another accident. I'm going to look at that ladder and see if it was an accident. Oh, but it was an accident. I'm sure it was an accident. This ladder's been sawed. This was no accident. Well, what do you know? Oh, really? Um, we, we gotta be going. 
What do you plan to do, Clutch? We'll take it easy and keep our eyes open. Oh, you are so smart, Clutch Cargo. Paddlefoot and I'll just wander around and make believe we're customers. Okay, Spinner, but be careful. You think they suspected anything? Don't worry. I've got a keen, sneaky plan and I'll throw them off the trail. Oh, no. They're not on our trail, are they? Oh, uh, calm down, stupid, and lay off the panic button. We got some dirty work to do. Dirty work? Oh, goody. <laughs> well, let's get started. A little while later, we find Clutch and Fifi still on the alert for another accident to happen. By the way, Fifi, have you seen Spinner and Paddlefoot? No, I have not. They're probably still overlooking at the animals. I wish they'd come on back. I wouldn't want anything to happen to them. While just a short distance away, someone peeks out from behind the menagerie tent. Is it Spinner? Oh, there is Spinner now. Over at the menagerie tent. Oh, Spinner! Now, what in the world is he running away for? Fire! Help! Fire! Fire! Take him! He's on fire! Oh, I can't believe it. I just saw Spinner running away from him. Spinner was over looking at the animals. Jumbo the elephant is staked up behind that flaming hill. Jumbo, I'll get him, Fifi. Oh. I've come to help you. Take it easy, Jumbo. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, Clutch, I am so thankful you are both safe. Goodbye, man. And thank you. The big hay tent is a total loss, Fifi. It is a terrible financial setback. And we almost lost Jumbo. I wonder who could have... Hi, Clutch. I heard all the commotion. What happened? The big hay tent burned to the ground, Spinner. Were you near the tent when the fire started? Golly, no, Clutch. I was way over in front of the sideshow tent. Why? Because I was sure I saw you running away from the hay tent when the fire started. But... but You're right, Miss Fifi. I saw him, too. But I... I... Uh, honest. I watched the animals, and then I went to the sideshow tents. Honest, I did. Uh-oh, this is terrible. Do you suppose Spinner really is guilty? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Circus. You remember last time, Clutch and Company and Fifi escaped being hit by the ladder, which had been deliberately sawed. Then Spinner was seen outside the hay tent just before a huge fire burned it to the ground. They were so sure I saw you running away from the hay tent when the fire started. You're right, Miss Fifi. I saw him too. Gosh! Then you think it was me. You know I wouldn't do a thing like that, Clutch. Of course not, Spinner. Well, it is certainly hard to imagine, Spinner. But then why did you run away when I called to you? Honest, Miss Fifi, I wasn't even near this tent. Okay, Spinner. We believe you. Of course, Spinner. It, uh, it must have been someone who looked like you. Hmm. <laughs> Quite a blaze, eh, Tiny? <laughs> but I'm sure that kid they call Spinner has convinced him he didn't do it. Doesn't matter. We gotta really guess it. But you gotta be more careful when you're imitating that kid. Always remember to take that cigar out of your kisser. Ah, uh, don't worry. I haven't slipped yet. Ha <laughs> ha. A few more fires and a few more sneaky tricks, and the circus will be ours. Right. Come on, Slim. While they're puzzling about who started the heat tent fire, we'll strike again. Hey, look at this. The remains of a gasoline torch. You mean somebody lit that thing and threw it in the hay tent? That is what it looks like, Spinner. Well, don't you see? It couldn't have been me. I don't even carry matches. They are dangerous. Good boy, Spinner. I knew it couldn't have been you. I certainly hope we can find out who causes all these accidents, or I will lose the circus. Don't worry, Fifi. We won't let that happen. Where's the telegraph office? In town, right next door to the post office. Why? Just a hunch. 
But I want to send a telegram that I think will help us solve this mystery. Oh, wonderful, Clutch. Take my car. Paddlefoot and I will stay here and help Miss Fifi keep an eye on things. Good idea, Spinner. I'll be back as soon as possible. <laughs> I like this sticky plan the best. It's bound to work. Yeah, Tiny. <laughs> and you look more like Spinner than Spinner does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a regular genie. Yes. How many more balloons do you think it'll take, genius? Well, that helium is a lot of lift. Oh, five more ought to do it. And hurry, I'm running out of peanuts. I'm hurrying, Tiny. Here comes another one. He's getting light. That does it, Slim. Never thought I'd see an elephant fly. Save the last one till we get him outside. Okay, Tiny. <laughs> Take her away. <laughs> Now, the last balloon, Slim. Okay, Tiny. This will do it. Now, quick, go sound the alarm. Okay, Tiny. Help! Help! Somebody stop him! Help! What is the matter, Slim? Look! Oh, no! Who did that? I can't tell a lie, Miss Fifi. It was that red-headed kid again. I saw him do it, but I got there too late to stop him. Oh, dear, we must. Help, somebody! Rubble is floating away! Help! Hey, Miss Fifi! The elephant is flying away! Oh, Fifi, why did you do it? You mean, you think I did that, too? What a nasty trick! Flying Jumbo away with helium balloons. Will Clutch Saver be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Brett Cargo? Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Circus. You remember last time, Clutch saved Jumbo the Elephant from the fire. Spinner is suspected of having started the blaze. Just as everything seems normal again and Spinner's name is cleared, Jumbo is seen flying through the air. Slim Cole accused Spinner. Spinner, why did you do it? You mean, you think I did that too? that elephant get up there? Uh, Slim, he saw Spinner do it. But I didn't, did I, Paddlefoot? We'll discuss that later. Come on, we've got to save that elephant. But how, Clutch? Jumbo so high in the air. Quick, to the plane. I've got a plan. What are we going to do with the plane, Clutch? We can catch up with Jumbo, but we can't bring him down. We'll have to shoot him down, Spinner. <laughs> oh, Clutch, you wouldn't do that. Not the way you think, Spinner. Here's the plane. Hop in. I'll show you what I mean. Look, Clutch. He hit an updraft. He's drifting away. Very much. Now, Spinner, get that piece of metal tubing and that sack of buckshot in the map case. Oh, I get it, Clutch. A bean shooter. Now, get ready, Spinner. Take careful aim. Hit just one balloon, and only one. Too many could be fatal. No. Get set. Ready? Aim. Fire. Perfect, Spinner. That stopped him from rising any farther. He's neutrally buoyant now. Now, if we can just pop one more, he should start coming down. What happens if I pop more than one, Clutch? He'll drop like a rock spinner. Ooh. We'll turn around and make another pass at him. Get ready, Spinner. I'll come in as close as I can. All set, Clutch. Okay. Fire. We did it, Clutch. Good boy, Spinner. Oh, thank goodness they have saved him. Hmm. I must admit that was pretty good flying. He's floating back toward the circus, Spinner. Yeah, Clutch. You better get down and clear a good landing spot for him. <laughs> We'll get him 
and back for you. Hey, Slim, you're pretty good with a rifle, aren't you? I never miss, Tiny. Good. We'll break out the rifle and you can catch up on your target practice. Oh, goody. I love to pop balloons. Have fun, Slim. Will this be the end of him? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Crunch Cargo. Crunch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Circus. You remember Crunch and Company saved Jumbo from the terrible fire which everyone thought Spinner had started. When Jumbo was seen flying by helium balloons, Slim Pool accused Spinner of this. Crunch and Company took off in the plane to save Jumbo. He was floating to Earth until... I love to pop balloons. Have fun, Slim! Jumbo, that was the greatest high dive I have ever seen. How do you like that? With all that hard ground to land on, Jumbo had to pick the diver's tank. Uh-oh, here comes Clutch Cargo. Let's get out of here. What a beautiful dive. I'll see. Looks like he came out without a scratch. Looks like the jig is up. Not yet it ain't. You go keep him occupied. I got one more nasty to pull. I find it hard to believe, but Slim says he saw Spinner tie the balloons on Jumbo. I did some checking on Slim and Tiny. I'd want more than their word before I'd accuse anybody. Hello there, everybody. I see Jumbo came down safe and sound. Where were you when all this happened? Oh, Tiny and I were rehearsing our act. The show must go on, you know. Well, if any more accidents happen, we will not have any show. Davey tells me you saw Spinner tie the balloons to the elephant. Yes, yes, I saw him. He's the one that did it. It was not me. I wouldn't do anything like that. I'm sure it wasn't Spinner. But I think you know who it was. It was Spinner. I know him when I see him. There he is now. That's not me. This is me. Tiny, drop that axe. He's running away. How do you know that he's tiny? I checked up on him and Slim. Tiny's an expert imitator. And Slim's is stewed. Gotta go now. Come on, Spinner. Paddlefoot, let's go after him. Be careful, Clutch. Oh, please be careful. <laughs> I went into this tent. We've got him cornered. Gee, nobody in here. There's their rig. They couldn't be far. Let's look out back. Hmm. Nothing out here but a giraffe. Something funny about that giraffe. Go away. Go away, dog. Graham. Slim in a giraffe costume. Good boy, Paddlefoot. You did it again. Oh, thank you, Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefeet. You have saved my circus. We're always glad to be of help. Right, Spinner? Right, Clutch. <laughs> and Paddlefoot wants to join the circus. <laughs> <laughs> so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the circus. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Crunch Cargo.